Just so that no one freaks out, this isn't necessarily today's show, this is me catching up with a show that I missed, so the date is important. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifar. On the 8th of September, it was two weeks ago, there was an hour-long Star Citizen Live Game Dev Arena Commander. Here's what you need to know. We had a designer on the AC feature team and we had a programmer on the AC feature team. Plan was to play Arena Commander 320 on the PTU for and talk about it as players tried to kill the developers. Gun Rush was the first game mode. We were shown the new unified GUI graphical user interface everything you might want is here on one page online friends list a big list of game modes there were some mild spoilers where we found out that there would be bonuses for winning gun modes with big bear head killing a player moves you up the 16 levels of the gun ladder and you get a new weapon when you max out the ladder you need to get a knife kill and then you're crowned the winner this mode helps the developers balance weapons and adjust spawn logic. The stream went dead for 20 seconds and then returned. 18 minutes into the stream, they switched to Squadron Battle. This map would be a new PU location that was added into AC, Jericho Station. Some of the new maps are close to the planet in the atmosphere. They had hoped that the map rotation would be in that environment. Duncan was asked about his controller preferences. He said dual sticks are cool and it lets him go beyond his skill plateau that he experienced using keyboard and mouse. All of that went on until the halfway mark of the stream. They discussed some changes in the selection screen. They added white tabs to explain how many players, what type of teams and what type of combat you might expect. Team tank battle was next. You don't even need to own a tank to play as it's gonna be loaned to you. Chat asked why the tanks were flipping over and bouncing all over the place. They said that that would be fixed on 320 Live, but Level Cap just did a video and it doesn't seem to be <laughs> fixed. Anyways, I got sick watching the footage of the Tonk flipping and bouncing all around. I took a break to make breakfast, which was a bowl of cereal and coffee. Thank you for asking. At the 50 minute mark, they went into Classic Race. You have the choice of the track and there's a tab offline, which was added. This used to be called Private Race and this lets you practice. Many of the new tracks are actually PU locations. This is great news as it cuts down on the time sink associated with crashing while racing in the PU. Master Modes Vandal Swarm was next. These experimental modes have big disclaimers that fully explain why it exists and that feedback is requested. And then Jared said goodbye. Thanks for spending your time with me. If you enjoy the breakdowns, please consider subscribing so I can help to keep you up to date. Please consider sharing with a friend or workmate as that helps a bunch. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.